Welcome to the All Plan Quick Start Lesson 6 in which we will now create the roof components. What should you expect from this lesson? In this lesson, we're creating the attic walls, an encircling sheet metal profile on this, and then also the story component that will give us the facade preview. We again begin by opening the building structure, right-clicking in the background, and double-clicking one of the drawing file favorites that I prepared to load it, Lesson 6, 1, Start. This drawing file favorite activates the practice drawing file that I have prepared for the components in the roof, so that we can again focus completely on drawing. We exit the building structure by clicking Close. If you have already viewed the previous Quick Start lessons, then you already know that we will next select components from a wizard, our component collection. At the end of this lesson, I will show you how you can easily and quickly create such a wizard yourself. Ensure here that the design drawing is set so that the components in your wizard look just as they are shown here in the film. Open the wizard palette and then open the architecture wizard here again. I have created the area roof in this one, and that is where we will find the attic walls. Right double click on the attic wall and select the rectangular component. Zoom in on one of the corners in the plan. Left click on the corner. Zoom in on the opposite corner and left click on this. Press escape. The four attic walls have now been created. To view them better, I switch back to the 2 plus 1 animation window view. Another small reminder here. The appearance of the animation window, that is the background and the position of the sun, can be adjusted to your preferences in the surroundings function, which you can access by right-clicking in the animation window. Please note, you can then only display the physical sky if your computer has a CAD-compatible graphics card. An onboard graphics card alone is insufficient to be able to use this function. We also take the encircling parapet sheet metal from the wizard. After right-double-clicking on the flashing, I turn on a front-left isometric view in this window by holding the mouse on View and clicking on this arrow. In addition, I switch the view from wireframe to hidden. I now have to click anywhere on the exterior wall line to begin. Click all four corners and then click the point again where I began with the entry. I then close the function by clicking on Apply. Remember, during the entry, I zoom in and out with the scroll wheel and move the screen content by moving the mouse with the scroll wheel pressed down. I exit the function by clicking Escape. I can now view the sheet metal in the animation window. Only the facade optics are now missing. In the wizard, I double-click on the story roof edge, zoom in on one of the exterior corners in the plan. Ensure that you only grab the exterior corner of the wall and not the parapet sheet metal we just created. Left-click and zoom in on the opposite corner. Click there and complete the process by pressing Escape twice. Do a quick visual check in the animation window. Looks good. At this point, we will briefly discuss how to create a wizard on your own. The brilliant thing about such wizards is that they give me a collection of components that I create myself and that I can always use. Using wizards means no more searching, having everything in a central location, and doing as little repetitive work as possible. One more technical note, the method of creating a wizard that I will now show you is intended for all plan users who use the all plan standalone on their computers. Users who work together with other all plan users in an office and who store their all plan projects centrally on a server use a different method that is just as simple.
for our little exercise, we will load a drawing file favorite again. Lesson 6, 2, Wizard. This loads the entire cafe ground floor drawing file, which we have saved as a wizard, since it contains a whole range of components that can be used time and time again. I simply click on the All Plan A in the frame and select Save Copy as a Wizard and Show. Windows Explorer opens where I can specify the name and storage location of the wizard. In this example, I will leave the location as All Plan Suggestion and I name the wizard Custom Wizard in an Exercise. After clicking on Save, AllPlan asks me to specify a name for the group in which the wizard is to appear in AllPlan. I decide on the name Custom and confirm this by pressing OK. In the wizard palette, the new group appears and the new wizard appears in this group. You now always have access to this wizard, no matter in which AllPlan project you are currently working. To complete the lesson, we now load some of the components I have prepared by selecting the drawing file favorite. Select Lesson 6, 3.